that's me. That, that right there, that's me. That is me. And this, my friends, is a gamer zone, if I'd say at the very least. And this, this gamer setup with this, uh, you know, gamer keyboard, gamer mouse, nice, uh, nice LED RGB computer, nice, very nice, with the, uh, elite gamer, uh, wooden table, that's like a dining room table, uh, high class with the, you know, the mic over here, now this, this, uh, ideal gamer moment with my gamer chair over there. If it isn't obvious, uh, this video wasn't exactly planned, and it was just planned about, let's say, let's say it's like 4, 4 20 a.m. Nice, nice. About 10 minutes ago, but I noticed something when I was kind of just sitting around in my room, all kind of bored watching YouTube and Twitch, um, that among the pile of shenanigans that is over here, there is something that I don't think I've ever brought up to at least the channel here, which is a part of Mr. Mike history, which is this colorful box right here. The red, the green, the blue, the yellow, all, uh, all notable colors of such. As you can see, it's, uh, kind of buried into a couple things that are, I'm, I'm unable to put anywhere currently, you know? various garbage and uh other garbage <laughs> um so what this thing is um is actually if i can open it up just a just a little bit just a little bit is my old big old box of various lego parts throughout the years um as you may or may not know I've collected these things since I was a wee young lad, so I'm very much into doing anything Lego, so usually these are just, these are from like, sets that actually got broken either by me for parts to make other things or various other reasons why they're broken. Uh, shout outs to anyone that can name exactly what this part is from, because I would assume, judging by the structure, it's not something made by me. I mean, I wasn't that great at making stuff. Oh, this is definitely from the, uh, the Back to the Future thing. I remember I scraped that up. Uh, which is actually video uh, funny because I, made, I think I had a video on this, actually. Um, when it was, uh, you know, recognizable. I don't know why. I think it had a bunch of cool parts that I was able to make little things out of. I haven't built too much with Legos and years now, but I still have the box here, um, so what I'm gonna try to do is take that out around over here in the middle of the room where I do, uh, keep posing for my VR, um, so I just need to move some stuff out of the way, excuse me, Lord Vader, thanks man, uh, old computer, uh, say that this is mm, I don't know if this is the exact one or yeah I want to say this is maybe one of the older computers that I would have used for my videos so there's there's some history with that I suppose <laughs> Ta I'm talking the the Fulbright Half-Life 2 playthroughs probably took place on this thing um Specifically, wherever in Nova Prospects, when I first was playing Half-Life 2 on the PC, it was on that thing, or my TF2, or any early, uh, videos, gaming videos that aren't, you know, recorded on, like this? Wow, full circle, that's crazy. Um, more garbage, like this fan, and this CPU, just garbage, you know, this camera, that's probably... A lot better looking than whatever camera I'm using right now. And uh, I think this is, that's stuff in it, but it, I believe the box is actually the PSVR in here that I haven't been using because one of my rabbits had bitten up a wire pretty badly. 
leaving it un unusable currently. I would have to get a replacement. But instead, I got myself the Vive to replace that, and it's a landslide, be it's a landslide better than that. But, you know, it's nice to have if I ever have any uses. Um, this is just random stuff. Ah, oh, yes, my box of little tie fighters and raisinets. What is this? Yogurt raisins. That's good. All right. Got it out. Nice. That was easy and not a pain in the ass. Alright, so here it is in full view. Uh, crazy POV shots. Now, well, you got this big bad boy. It's actually not that big. It's rather small. But each of these comprise of a whole ton of parts from various things. None of them are like, they're not like categorized or anything. They're just kind of put in all willy nilly and stuff. Goes. Um, I, I think at one point, oh my god, is that Anna? I think at one point the green box used to be like uh, super cool rare pieces, but that kind of uh, changed over time. I mean, I suppose these, I don't think these are Lego, these are probably like mega block looking pieces actually. It's like green stuff in here too. So this is like, uh, Mostly Lego, like little parts, like wow, look at this, but with every once in a while you'll see like Army Man number 5 in here. Okay, so I was just, yeah, so I forget what, what was in here, this is, uh, this is some Gladiator dude, probably from one of the minifigure series things, one of the earlier ones. Yoda. How about that? It looks weird. He's fine. You know, just without the, the cloak on, he looks a little weird, that's all. The whole... Well, mostly... A, uh... Spaceship. That's pretty good, I guess I hadn't changed from us. Uh, whatever the hell this thing is... Yeah, a lot of this stuff still looks cool. I always love these, uh beam pieces that have gotten over the over the years. Uh while this is my main Lego thing, I do actually have another one, but that's like in uh I think that's in the shed somewhere. That that, that has to be a huge spot. But there those are like way at the bottom so kind of thing good. Wow look at that. Look at that. It's like a uh, blue rock piece. Wow. It's crazy. I found a goblin. That's that's cool, I guess. Not exactly the gold I was looking for. I was thinking more on the line like figures I haven't seen in a hot minute would be cool. Holy shit, is that Anakin Skywalker in a bowler hat? Man. If only I remember the context for why I did this. This leaves so many questions. Who knows? Who is he? I don't know. It's Greedo in a Buzz Lightyear outfit. Um. Yep. I don't know. <laughs> for for the life of me, I don't remember the, whatever uh, stories I was making. Before. But maybe those two were involved. That's a cool looking helmet. I for the life of me don't know what this helmet is for. But kudos to whoever knows what that's from. Ah, yes. One of these pieces. If only you could find the uh, the thing that you'd be able to launch it from. That, that would be cool. The, the bullet. It's like a big bullet. I'm sure one of them is in here somewhere. I don't know where. Um, here's a headless Geonosian. I'm surprised the wings stayed on, considering the fact that it has no goddamn head. But all right. I mean, these are alright fine so far. Nothing crazy. Let's just shift this up aside, see if anything on the other level. Can go back to the red one to open it all the way there. Oh my god, another Thanos? What does this mean? No, I 
I think I just I got them in a some sort of happy meal. I just put them in here because I didn't have anywhere else to put them. Um, soldier dudes. Uh, oh god, I don't know. What the hell? Starburst? Like a, a, a old ass. <laughs> Alright, ancient Starburst found. The secret flavor. Um, yeah. I'll, th th maybe there's a reason I kept that. I don't know. Or maybe I just didn't. It, it looks like, almost like a Lego, maybe? I, I don't know. I don't dare try to eat that. That's for certain. Um, some tape. Never know when you need tape. What kind of army dudes in here? It looks like mostly arm. Looks like this is mostly compromised. Um, it's like a disc in there. God. This is uh, more uh, just action figure stuff. Jesus. What the hell is this? This is a uh, something clay. I don't know what it was originally, but it looks like it got smooshed. Whatever it is. It's a wing piece. That's pretty cool. But again, this, you can tell that it's not. It's like Mega Blocks or something. BTR. I don't know what that is. Sometimes family members would give me like Lego, but it would be like brand stuff, so I wouldn't know what it was. Like this, I remember comes. It was a huge ship, and I think this was Mega Blocks. It was like a big ghost ship, and I probably, I don't know what the rest of it was, but I have like that piece just in case. Like, piece. This panel piece is pretty nice. I already came across it, but it's pretty cool. I got to keep using it for something. And I, for the life of me, don't know what it is. For originally, here's something from one of the Star Wars sets. Uh, remnants of some toucan. God, what this man must have seen. Probably nothing, considering the fact that I've barely ever opened this for the last few years. Just bland red body. This is actually pretty good. I wouldn't mind using it because this is just default as it gets. I don't even know what this is for. When this is from, this could be really old. I don't even know. Some of these bricks are probably a lot older than I think. This is like a full sofa. Damn, that's <laughs> I didn't know that. That's pretty cool actually. I, I like that some things kind of just stay together, like just that full sofa just showing. Oh, who's this? Who's this guy? Who is this? Ooh, what the hell is this? Who is this man person, lady person? What happened to his face? There's gotta be some story behind this. What the hell happened? What the hell is this? Um... I think this is Catwoman's body? But I don't know who the face belongs to. The, the light is making this look a lot more green or lime than it actually is. This is like, I want to say this is like one of the older Star Wars. Is this maybe like Luke, I guess? I think. But he's missing his mouth. Because I think you could chip the pain away if you uh, scratch hard enough. So maybe, I don't know. I don't remember scratching his face off. I don't know. Um, but now that I found it, I'm sure he'll kill me in my sleep, so, uh, tough luck. Alright, I think that wraps up that. There's nothing much else in there. We're still on the hunt for a bullet piece for this thing, so, fingers crossed that something is in the top shelf. Again, these are unorganized, and I don't really, I don't really ever have a bias, except for maybe the one time that I put special pieces in there, but that quickly broke. So, who knows? Alright, so let's see what's in here. Uh, first I see... Uh, Undertaker? Something? Person? Maybe? Another one of these cool pieces. I always loved the pieces that were, um, like this. That looked like they could be used for construction. Uh, more castle things, again. If anybody knows what this is from, let me know, I guess. I, I don't remember. Yeah. 
magic marker. We got a hair piece. Hair piece. Uh, don't know what hair piece is. It? This looks like it was the one. Uh, uh, what's her face in Harry Potter's hair piece specifically? Unless they use that for something else, but that's the only hair. That's the only time I remember that hair being used. Um, these cool newer, newer, is from where I am. Uh, projectile pieces that I really like to get a kick out of using. Um, whatever this is. Who knows what this is? This is like some architecture of the gods. We got tree. Oh boy, this is a... <laughs> I don't know what this is. This is a... Fly guy? Crab? Fly crab? Man? Person? This is pretty cool. Again, he's intact as well and i love the uh, unique pieces on them i don't think lego ever used this uh fly head i don't think other than this he's definitely a cool looking guy but i do like him whoever he is i don't know who he is uh, yeah oh yeah the, uh crazy scientist dude he's pretty cool <laughs> i like the headpiece. i must see i must see what is underneath the goggles and it is just some guy. He's alright. Not as bad as I thought he was. Oh my god. This thing. Which is something from Clone Wars is all as I remember. Uh, another one of these. This is actually pretty old as well from what I remember. Because I remember getting two of these sets and having two of these odd beast looking creatures. Um, don't know the name for them. For the life of me, I may be a Star Wars fan, but I, for the life of me, have no idea what the hell these things are. They look cool. I mean, they have, like, these cool pieces here to represent them. So that's kind of cool to see again. Oh my god. The Gingerbread Man. The Gingerbread Man? What are you, crazy? You get to sit with my boy Greedo. She can. Yeah. Oh my god, he shot first. Alright, well, nothing too crazy. Um, just, just a nice look back on everything. I mean, again, these are just random parts from random things that I don't know. It would be cool if I knew exactly which parts go to whatever, so I could perhaps reconstruct some of these Frankensteins and kind of remake the sets that I vaguely have from the parts, but there is almost no chance of that completely happening. <laughs> Unless I knew exactly what this for what, then I don't know. Um, hey, you guys want to go to the Lego Zone? Let's go to Lego Zone. I must, I must treat you, you, my fellow friend, as a uh, <laughs> one of these like minifigs that have been in here. So I'm going to throw my boy Gingy in with you. And you're just gonna go to the Lego zone. Get it all. Sure, this is great. And then we just gotta close the box. Right, and just forget about you forever. Yep. Just continue gaming. And, uh, yeah, no mention of Legos ever again. Never gonna see you for the next. I'd say about four to five months when I go back in to look at you and I, you know, sh shuffle you aside because I see a cooler Lego piece. But, you know, that's how, that's that's life. But yeah, you know, I gotta get back to playing like Half-Life Alex and stuff, dude. I'm a gamer. That's all I gotta do. You know? Such is life. But I must move this back. Yeah.